Ordinance is a word you're likely to hear spoken a lot as a member of the Synod. In the Anglican Church, an ordinance or ordinances are the bylaws of a diocese or province. In other words, ordinances are the governing documents that address issues of governance and administration. So what might that look like in practical terms? A church must have some type of organisation. Ordinances help to define the roles of leaders and stipulate the requirements for membership. In other words, ordinances allow that all things should be done decently and in order. A church needs to articulate its mission and methodology. Ordinances help to set parameters for all sorts of things, including fundraising, outreach, ordination, expenditures and missionary support. A church should agree on certain issues of Christian living and separation. A grey area, which the Bible doesn't specifically address, may be covered in an ordinance. For example, a church may require its members to refrain from the consumption of alcohol. Since this is not a doctrinal issue per se, it is better dealt with in the ordinances. To ensure our churches are safe and welcoming places for everyone, a church should have written policies on church discipline, screening employees and volunteers, and so on. In this respect, Ordinances can be a way of giving confidence to everyone that we want to make our churches welcoming communities. Well, I hope you found this useful, but if you need more information on ordinances, be sure to read through the Standing Orders Ordinance, which can be found at adelaideanglicans.com.